And so this vlog is all about DJs and producers. So often named in one bit, like DJ slash producer, I do it too. Hey, what's up? This is like about DJ and producer. But people don't know that it's a very different thing. It's like uh, comparing a butcher to a baker. And in this vlog, I'll tell you why. What is it that DJs do exactly? Are they actually making music on stage? Producers on stage, are they really as good as DJs? Stick with me, because in this vlog, I'll tell you exactly what the two entities are and why they shouldn't be entangled with each other like that. And so what is it that a DJ exactly does? So on a stage, what does a DJ do? A DJ on stage presses play and usually it's someone else's track. For two, three or four minutes, nothing actually happens other than that the DJ is looking for the next track to play or thinking what direction they'll take the set out to. A DJ on stage will feel out the vibe and will try and lift up the energy and get all the people dancing. A DJ usually has knowledge over thousands of tracks, knowing how they sound, who the artist was by and what effect they'll have on the dance floor. And so now, what does a producer do? First of all, a producer is not on stage. A producer works in the studio. So literally everything you hear in a track is programmed and mixed down from scratch to like the finished product. A producer has a knowledge of like hundreds and hundreds of sounds, how to get the best bass lines, how to get the best leads, and how to make them sound really good in a song. A DJ is involved with a ton of tracks, travels, meets people, performs in front of people. Producers actually don't perform. They're stationary in the studio trying to finish the next big hit. So with this little sum up, I hope you can see it's more like apples and oranges. Tomorrow I'll travel out to Miami and in Miami I'll talk all about skills because both DJs and producers need to have skills, but very different ones. I'm gonna talk to you about producer skills. First and foremost, producers need to be gearheads. And that doesn't necessarily mean like outboard gear, gearheads, but they need to have like a natural interest in plugins, in the things you need to manipulate sound, uh, effects, knowledge of effects, knowledge of compressors, limiters, various synthesizers, know how sound works in what, which frequencies, like the bass lives and, and a percussion. Knowing how to manipulate sound and putting everything together so that it works. Obviously, producers need to be a little bit of a musician because you need to know how to program beats, program melodies, know how bass lines work with melodies. So opposite to DJing, producers don't necessarily need to know which track works after which track. Being a producer is all about making tracks, not playing tracks. When I come back, I will tell you exactly what kind of skill it is that DJs need to have, and you'll see it's totally different than producers. And we continue speaking of skill here on this vlog, because now I'm gonna tell you what DJs actually need to have. So a DJ technically should be able to match BPMs. And I don't mean like reading on the players what kind of BPM is going on, nor pressing the sync button. Actually hearing what tracks uh, vary in, in tempo and adjust to that. That's like an intricate part of, of real DJing is where you um, beat match. But sometimes when you match, it could be slightly off and then you grab it and then you could take it somewhere else. And this is like a part of live mixing that, uh, that it's like a, instead of it sounding too perfect, a DJ should be a tastemaker. DJs should be lovers of any types of sort of music and, and should have like a good knowledge of the history of the music that are playing, but preferably a history of, of all sorts of music. DJs should constantly be on the lookout for that new track or that new style, which they can introduce then to their crowd. DJs should be able to monitor the crowd and monitor the energy of a night. Cause it's only then that you can adapt to uh, the moment and take that moment higher and grab the crowd. Well, grab the crowd with music, of course, but grab the crowd, take them with you on this musical journey. The DJ should be the life of the party as well. The DJ should be there behind the decks, enjoying themselves, 
And do note I said behind the decks, not on the decks, not jumping off the decks. Making it a party, making a party together with the crowd. I have a dream, a wish that more real DJs would be on the main stages and would close off big festivals. But there's a problem. If you're only a DJ and you have no productions out, no way that you'll be able to get your name out there. So what I'd love to see more is real DJs remaining real DJs, real producers remaining real producers, and both team up. Producers don't need to perform anyway. DJs love to perform. So if you're a young DJ and you're watching this, I would advise you to hook it up with a producer. Go and sit in the studio together, finish tracks, make it like a really collaborative thing. Put your name on there, put his name on there. Be absolutely transparent and don't hide the fact that you need this guy to finish off your productions. And there you are, there you're able to show off your skills on those main stages. For producers that are watching and that still want to perform, I would suggest this. When you go live, make sure you really go live. So your power over DJs is that you know plugins, you know sound, you have a, a really big library of all your own tracks that you can play. Maybe just buy an Ableton push and start drumming on those pads live on stage. I don't think at all producers should pretend like they are DJs. I am very curious about your thoughts as well. Make sure to leave them in the comments. Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's time for another Q&A video. And today I have a question on Twitter from DJ Wreck the Beat. And the question is, I see a lot of professional DJs are producers as well. He's curious to know if producing is necessary in order to be a professional DJ or if it's preferred. All right, this is going to be different for every genre, but I would like to state that if you want to become a DJ, you do not need to be a producer. If you enjoy playing music and just mixing records or even doing turntablism, but just if you enjoy playing music, the art of DJing, you do not need to be a producer. But having said that, in a lot of genres nowadays, most of the new up-and-coming DJs are not becoming popular because of their DJ skills. They're becoming popular because of the music that they produce. So especially, for instance, EDM, most of those guys are known and are getting booked because of the hits that they have, their music. Not because of the DJ skills. So it is a different day and age. Now let me stick to the, to the house DJs, to the EDM DJs for a minute. Here in the Netherlands, you have a lot of booking agencies, and I know for a fact that most of those booking agencies won't even accept you into their roster if you're not producing, because they know that the only way that they're gonna be able to get you bookings is if, if you have music. So it depends on what your goal is as a DJ. If you wanna be a professional DJ in certain genres, yes, being a producer is definitely a necessity. And in other genres, it can be preferred, but it won't be necessary. But I know for a fact that having skills as a DJ is not the number one priority anymore in, in a lot of genres. And I can even see that in hip hop because I see a lot of guys getting booked because they're famous. And that can be famous from producing or it could be just because they're a celebrity and all of a sudden they're getting DJ gigs. So it's a crazy, for me it's still crazy to see where it's gone since back in the days when DJs were getting booked because they had their own style and skill. And in a certain way, it will be getting back to that more because I see a lot of people do want to see more skills again. But um, production has definitely become a lot more important for most DJs' careers. Times have changed for DJs, and nowadays you have to put in a lot of work in order to become successful. But do DJs need to be producers? Let's talk about that right now. Now, this is a question that a lot of people ask me. Do I need to be a producer in order to make it as a DJ? Now, I understand this question because if you look at some of the biggest DJs out there, they all produce and release their own music. Now, like I said in the intro, times have changed. It used to be that if you were skilled at your craft and knew how to rock the crowd, you could probably make it as a DJ. 
Nowadays, you have to do a lot of work. You really have to market yourself, but it is a fact, especially for certain genres, that you can increase your chance to break through if you're also producing and releasing music. Now, I know for a fact that a lot of booking agencies out here, especially for house DJs, will only put DJs on their roster if they're also producing. So that shows you that there's value to being a producer on top of being a DJ. But keep this in mind, if you're now in your beginning stages of becoming a DJ and you're still learning all the techniques, if you want to start becoming a producer as well, that means you will have to learn a whole new skill set while you're still learning how to DJ. If you've been playing for a longer time, it could actually be a good idea to try and start producing as well because as DJs, we do have a certain advantage. We get to see how people react to certain music on a nightly or weekly basis. And a lot of great producers started out as DJs. Now, my fellow Dutchman Laidback Luke recently had a great tip for people just like you. If you just want to focus on being a DJ and you don't want to learn how to become a producer, you can always collaborate with a producer. There's a lot of people out there, young and old, sitting at home or in the studio right now making great music. And a lot of them have no ambition to stand on stage and become a DJ. So you could team up with a producer like that. They know how to work the equipment. They know all about the plugins. You can add your ideas and together you can make some new music that you can release. And just to be clear, there's no shame in working with a producer and not producing your own music. Some of the biggest DJs out there are not producing their own music, even if they don't credit the actual producer. Now, another good reason to hook up with a producer is if you do not have the skills to produce yourself. So you might feel that it's a good idea to start making beats, try it out. But if you see and hear that it's not really working out, the tracks aren't coming out that great, then leave it to the producer. You can focus on DJing, give your input when you're in the studio, but work with someone who actually knows how to get the job done. So that's basically it. You have to figure out what it is that you want to do. If you want to become one of those DJs that you see play at all the festivals, then you need to see if you have it in you to start making music or team up with a producer and make the music together. If you have no ambition to become a producer, you don't care about making music, releasing music, you just want to play, have fun as a DJ, then do that. What makes a good DJ? You work the crowd. You have to work the crowd, you have to do it with your own type of music, and you have to... Um, yes, be a performer, I guess. And also, now the only way to be famous internationally outside of the reputation you can get in your city is to create your own music because that's where everything changed. It's like DJs used to play other people's music. Then it's limited, of course. You know, you're going to get a good reputation. There are still people, DJs doing that, right? Of course. They, yeah. And I have lots of respect for them. Resident DJs, they do an amazing job. But if you want to get famous, if you want to sell tickets on your name, the only way is to be like a rock band or like a hip hop band and create your own music so people want to go see your concerts. Uh, okay. Now we turn to Diplo. <laughs> Electronic dance music has grown to a nearly $7 billion industry. DJ and producer Diplo is a major force behind the music. He made this year's Forbes list of highest paid DJs. But you said I want to do music. I think at the end of the day, I was about 23 when I just realized I wasn't good at any other job. And I think that uh, music was the one thing that I could, I could do. It was a huge step when you're young and you take a, a step into being a creative person for your, mm. for, your, for your work. It's a huge step, you know? Yeah. And I think that it was very scary. I just started doing it for three years. I just kind of yeah. built up everything from, from scratch. 